Okay, so the next exercise is, is tendus from fifth. Ballet works the feet a lot because we have to have particular lines that are elongated through and outwards out of the foot. So we, we try to do a lot of things about the feet from the very beginning. So now she's in third or fifth. If you'll notice, go ahead on front. She's crossed with her fifth and she's rotated. You notice that it's not what you've probably seen in your life, which is this 180 degree fifth. Be careful of that because you really don't want your kneecaps to roll forward. You can hurt your knee. And that's where we get all these problems um, doing ballet, okay? So we don't care about that. We care that it's your rotation. So here she is. She's in point tendu from fifth. So she's, go back and show them how you go from the ball, then push the toes because they each have their own work to do, and then from the back down to the ball and toe back fifth. So you can see that it's just going through that one brush She's pushing really hard. One more time. Out and ball heel back, toe back. And she's working it all the way up from the hip, all right, not to mention her lift. So the whole body is involved, even though it's concentration maybe on the feet, okay? So um, many times they'll go from the point on due maybe into fourth. So if you'll face me for a minute, it's because we're reiterating other positions that we use in ballet. And she's going to pull her toe back to her fourth, and then brush it out before she brings it in, right. So remember that it, whenever we do the fourth, unless it's specified, you want to do the fourth that's one of your foot lengths. So to the side, let's see, she's going to go point tendu. If you'll notice, her tendu to the side is not at 180 degrees from where she is, because usually adults, in fact, generally adults do not have a 180 degree turnout. We're forward moving creatures. So we, her, our second to the side really is our second. Some people are very rotated. Some people are not very rotated depending on the structure of your hip. So she's out to her second, but you'll notice she brings her heel much more forward. And from the front, let me move you around. No, no second, you're still in second. You can see this flat, surface. So it looks from any other direction that she's 180 degrees. But really, it's about how much rotation in the, in the socket you've got and how much stretch to the side you have. So she's doing it absolutely correctly. She goes to the side, brushing. There she is. And thank you. And now as she goes from the side to fifth back, she hits first and then fifth. This is very hard to do. And then she goes out again. And uh, good, and then she pulls it in using her inner thighs. Very nice, one more time. Brushing out. Now they can throw all sorts of other things in with you, like close back and demi-plie. Right, so now she's on both feet to do the demi-plie. Her knees go over the toes. There's a lot of things involved here. She's still maintaining her center. To the back, we've got toe leading out, just like in the other one. Heel coming in, closing up that beautiful fifth demi-plie. She goes to the bottom, but she doesn't show you by stopping where it is. And brushing toe out first, because you have those three positions in the body that are very important to ballet. So you want to go front, side, and back in almost all your exercises. Thank you. Demi-plie. Very nice. And it may go through first on occasion. There's demi-plies involved. You have to watch your instructor, make sure you know what they want from you. But technically, she, she, she's working very well. The only thing you want to be careful about is make sure the hips are perpendicular to the bar at all times. There's something called opening up, where you're supposed to be facing sideways to the bar, but you open up as you point on due side. So you do it wrong for once. So she opens up to try to get more rotation. Oh, isn't that fabulous? I'm 180 degrees. But she's not placed, and she's torquing her other knee. So we don't want that. All right, so the other thing I want to explain to you is passe, because it looks simple, but it's really got a lot of complex things going on. So from the front is easier. So first thing she's going to do is wrap her foot around her ankle. Right. That puts her foot in the right uh, shape. Then she's going to slide it up the front. And passe, even if it's called retire, passe changes and goes to the back. Right. Retire is just when you raise it to this position. You'll see that her toe is slightly in front. It's not completely to the side. If she were doing passe, she would do that. But what she has to do is maintain her rotation so she can't 
turn her thigh in. She does need to keep her hip down. Do it wrong so they just can see that. So now she's hiked her thigh, her hip up. She's arched her back, and she no longer has good placement or turnout. Okay, so she's disturbed that. We don't want her to do that. So to pick the passe up, she rotates, wraps, and then she contracts here. She does not do anything here, nothing. She contracts here, and then she lifts from the knee that drops the hip down and pulls the knee up. Now, ideally, you want to have a passe that is 180 degrees to the side of you. That's going to take time. Don't go for it to this minute, but this is where you would like to end up, because eventually you'll be turning here. All right? Very nice. So this is where we get into point en dues. Thank you. And demi plies. Thank you. And passes get added in very often. Yes. And the last thing is you may, as we get more complicated, be using arms. So arms to the front, in my opinion, would be high fifth would be fingertips in, in relationship to the top of your head. Now, some people think it needs to be front. I think that if you have a very stiff shoulder girdle, that's fine. But putting more on weight on center is a better thing. So. There's that, as long as you're not overdoing it back here. Then first position is a little lower than your shoulder so we can see the shape. And then second, you can see that her fingertips are in front of her, just like her toe is, all right? She never lets her arm get behind her. So that would be that, okay? All of which would mess up her technique and her center. And that's pretty much it. Thank you. That's for Tom Deuce.